Hey guys, Henry here, and today we're going to be talking about the film Tiger Tail, explaining the film and sharing my thoughts. So, Tiger Tail is a drama written and directed by Alan Yang, and in a nutshell, the movie is about a man's reflection of his past life. Once a young kid living in rural Taiwan and dreaming of a better life, and then the choices and sacrifices he's made in order to move to America in search for stability and the promise of prosperity. The film is called Tiger Tail after the town where the main character spent his youth, and it doesn't have anything to do with any Tiger Moms, although it might as well have. It's a trilingual film with Taiwanese, Mandarin, and English being used throughout the film, and you can catch it now on Netflix. Like I said, it is the story of Ping Sui, played by Si Ma and Li Hong Chi, who play the character at different stages of his life. Ping Sui is a divorced Taiwanese father who lives comfortably but alone in the US and cannot open up to his American-born adult daughter, Angela, played by Christine Ko. The film has the through line of the relationship of Ping Sui and his daughter, Angela. They don't have a good relationship. Angela just wants her father to open up to her and to support her in her choices, but he's extremely hardened by his own experiences and constantly tries to impose his own views onto Angela, unwilling to listen to her own opinion. He's a fairly stereotypical Asian father in this regard, very strict, wanting what's best for his children, even if it means that they resent him for it. But after his divorce, he's all alone, and although he thinks he is fine on his own, through his reflection of his past and the choices and decisions he's made, he realizes that maybe something needs to change. Throughout his childhood, he had always been in the lower class, living a bit of an impoverished life, not having a lot of money, and working with his mother in a sugar factory and living in a small flat. And as a child, he meets a young woman named Awan who he falls in love with as they grow through their teenage years together. They both dream of a life together overseas, although they are both poor and have no real prospects. Ping Sui's boss presents him with an opportunity to move to the States, to New York, where he'd always dreamed of going, as long as he married his daughter, Zhen Zhen, and took good care of her. Ping Sui ultimately decides to get married and move to the States, and he leaves his love, Awan, behind. He's made this sacrifice in hopes of creating a better life for himself and his mother. In the States, Zhen Zhen and Ping Sui don't really share any true feelings for each other. They're cordial, but not much else. There were parts of Ping Sui that he could share with Awan that he could not share with Zhen Zhen, because they're just fundamentally different people, and they don't really have that connection and bond. And that essentially was the beginning of the extinguishment of his passions. They are poor and lonely and in a foreign country, crammed into a tiny apartment. Ping Sui spends more time working at a convenience store and he ends up becoming the manager, while Zhen Zhen manages the house and housework and manages to find some local friends within the community. Zhen Zhen brings up the idea of maybe studying to become a teacher, but is shut down as Ping Sui thinks it's a waste of time as they will likely be having a child soon and she needs to spend her time taking care of them. And the two of them continue to grow more alienated from each other as the days go on. And although they remain married for a long time, they end up getting divorced after their kids grow up and leave the house. Clearly, Zen Zen having resented Ping Sui for a long time. Now alone, Ping Sui, he reflects on his past and he reaches out to Awan and they reconnect and chat and it brings his mood back up and they eventually meet. And when they meet, Awan reveals that, you know, she's living a really happy life, a really fulfilled life with her husband and her kids. And she has no real regrets as how, you know, life panned out. While Ping Sui realizes that he maybe was holding on to the thought of meeting up with Awan and maybe rekindling their relationship and really sort of putting all his eggs in this basket. And now realizing that this wasn't really an option for him, he realizes he really needs his daughter. And so that sort of sets in motion the mending of that relationship. Alan Yang is extremely accomplished in the entertainment industry. He was a producer and a writer on the hit sitcom Parks and Recreation, where he met Aziz Ansari, and they went on to create the brilliant series Master of None. Tiger Tail really links quite significantly to the second episode of Master of None Season 1, where Dev and Brian delve into the hardships experienced by their immigrant parents in Asia through their childhood and their struggle to establish a life for themselves and their children, in contrast with the comfortable and cushy lives that Dev and Brian live now. 
They both won Emmys for that episode. And I absolutely loved that episode to bits. And it just said so much about first generation experience and that gulf between those parents and their children. And the notion that sometimes we as those children don't quite appreciate that struggle and sacrifice made by our parents. And we take it for granted while our parents may struggle to understand our different worldview and our different values. It was honestly one of the most impactful episodes of television I've ever seen. Being a first generation Chinese Australian and having immigrant parents of my own, our stories are just so similar in so many ways and it's so inspiring to see my own experiences reflected in mainstream media. But although I loved that episode, I cannot truthfully say that I loved this film. While the heart of the film is in the right place, the execution was slightly lackluster. At the core of this film, it's the relationship between Ping Sui and his daughter, and their dialogue was extremely stale and unengaging. I understand that the relationship that the script was trying to depict was cold and detached, but I don't think the performances and the writing were really able to capture the deeper nuances of their relationship. The craving of approval from her father, the flicker of pain in the father's eyes having just reduced your daughter to tears. The characters were very, very surface level, and there was obviously something deeper going on, inner feelings that were being suppressed. The reason for the long pauses, and the reason for the awkward conversations between the two. These unspoken things, these hard to say things, they just never found their way into the daylight. Whether through, you know, a bit of subtext or through the actor's expressions. I didn't really feel that this film was able to truly capture the depth of that relationship. Visually, the film was very stimulating and engaging. There were some beautiful frames, although I did find that the dreamy and saturated vibe came off a little bit too cringy and a little bit too much. There was use of a melancholy music to take Ping Sui back into the past, and that also felt way too repetitive and just came back over and over. This film has a very layered story to tell, very complex subject matter. I don't think it was fleshed out completely, and I don't think it reached its full potential. I specifically would have liked to see a bit more of how Ping Sui came to terms with leaving his country in hopes for a better life, only then to end up still facing similar hardships, if not more, along with the added struggle of facing racism. It is touched on a little bit, but I really needed more. In general, I love the idea of this film, and I will continue to watch films like this. While the film was a little bit disappointing in my eyes, the tale of a Taiwanese immigrant experience is something extremely rare in Western cinema, and Alan Yang is the one to bring that to life. This in itself is an absolutely amazing achievement, and is something I'm sure many people like myself would like to see more of and I hope to see more of going forward. The film is loosely autobiographical as Alan Yang's father grew up in rural central Taiwan and worked in the exact same sugar factory shot in the film. They eventually migrated to the Bronx with Yang's mother, then moved to California where Yang was born. While Tiger Tail is highly fictionalized and not quite exactly replicating the life of his father, the emotional core of the film is consistent with reality. And it's about the cost of achieving the American dream, and the sacrifices needed to be made. Making that sacrifice, leaving your family, leaving your friends, perhaps people that you love, in pursuit for a better life, not only for yourself, but for your future family. Although I may not have loved the film, it is definitely another step in the right direction for Asian-focused films in Hollywood and in the West. The recent wave of films like Crazy Rich Asians, The Farewell, and Parasite really making it into the public eye and the mainstream makes me feel really proud. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the film Tiger Tail. Do you think I was a bit too harsh or do you agree with my criticisms? Comment in the comment section down below and let me know. As always, thank you guys again and I'll catch you guys next time.